Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a haul video and I love doing haul videos because I can show you guys like I don't know, my sense of fashion, I guess. I feel like someone's sense of fashion, like the clothes they wear, tells a lot about them because it's like, I don't know. I think it shows off a person's personality a lot and you can definitely get a glimpse of my personality. But uh, yeah, and then a lot of times I'll wear like clothes in Instagram pictures or in videos or on Twitter or something. I'll post pictures of myself or Snapchat too. And I'll get comments saying, Nathan, like, where'd you buy that? Oh my gosh, where did you get that? So these videos are perfect because you know exactly where I got them. First, let's start um, what I'm wearing right now. This hat was custom made. Someone on Etsy, I don't know who it was. Literally, I went on Etsy and I just typed in like Drake Tumblr hat and this one lady popped up who has all these cool hats. They're all like baby pink and baby blue and white and black. I don't know, I liked all of them, but this one was custom made because she had the, I don't know if you can tell, it's like a box of cigarettes that says like fuck you in it. And I saw that design, but she did not have it in a pink hat, but I wanted it in pink hats. It was really nice because like on her little Etsy page, it said like, oh, like I make all these myself and I can custom make anything just when you're buying something, if you want to leave it in the notes or whatever, or like send me a message on what you want done to it, I can do it. And I was like, oh my gosh, living. So I think I just bought like a normal white fuck you hat, but I said, can it be in pink? And then can the stitching be white? And she did it and I love it. So if I can find her Etsy page, I'll put it in the description. But yeah, and also, I know I promised I would cut my hair for the next video, but I, I just didn't. Like, are you even surprised? And then this, which is amazing, like, do you not live? I live so much, like, okay, as you guys know, I'm a huge Nicki Minaj fan, I love Nicki, and I love literally every single one of her songs. I love all her pop songs, I love all, all her hardcore rap songs, I like all her old hood songs from the mixtape days. Literally any Nicki song, I love it, and I just love Nicki's persona. I love everything about Nicki, and this shirt just embodies her so well. All the little, like, like how it says, like, suck it, and it says, like, dope, and I don't know, like, I just love this. I got it from, like, a really ratchet website called AliExpress. Like, I wasn't even sure if it was, like, legit, but I took a risk, and it came, and it looks really good. Like, it turned out so good. I feel like it's a little orange. Like, as a whole, it looks kind of orangey, but whatever, I don't care. What was I saying? I don't even know. Love this. Love it so much. Okay, so I guess I went shopping today. Like, I literally just got back from shopping today, so maybe I'll show you what I bought today. I went to Tilly's, and... <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I went in Tilly's, and me and my friend... Oh my god, we should make a video about this. Okay, me and my friend, basically, we were in Tilly's, and they thought we were shoplifting, and basically busted us because they thought we were shoplifting, but we literally weren't. It's a long story. But anyway, so I never want to go in that Tilly's again, because it's like, what if that woman is there that busted us for shoplifting, which we weren't even doing, but, like, she thought we were shoplifting. Anyway, so I just like went in it anyway, and I don't even know if she was there. I don't even remember what the lady, lady looks like, but yeah, I saw these shirts and I thought they were so cute. They're like bright colors and they have like fruit on them. So that's a watermelon. And then this one, this was the first one I saw and it's green and it has a little pineapple on it. Isn't that so cute? I don't know, I love it. And they had another one, which is a, it, it was a banana, but the banana, I don't know, it just kind of looked ugly and I didn't want to spend an extra $20 on like a third shirt, so I got these two and I thought, they're really cute. Um, the other store I went to was Express, which I don't usually go to Express because they're like unnecessarily expensive. And they had these really, really cute skinny jeans that I wanted to buy, but they were like $80. And I was like, I don't want to do that to myself. I've been spending a lot of money recently, like as you can tell from watching this haul. And I feel like I need to slow down. So I didn't purchase those, but I did get some Express underwear because I love Express underwear. I have two pairs of Express underwear and I always like them so much. Like they're old, like I literally got them like two years ago. And I don't know, I love Express underwear. It's like, I don't know, is it weird? Like, and I kind of love how the colors don't match at all. How it's like purple and blue up here and then like green and blue down here. I don't know, I like it. I didn't realize how expensive these are. Express underwear is $20 a pop. Like what? That's, uh, I don't even know. But like for underwear, like unless it's something like Andrew Christian or Calvin Klein underwear, like, I'll pay more for it, but if it's, like, Express, like, why would I pay $20 for that? I don't know, but I just thought those were cute. And then I also got these white shorts because, oh my god, I hate my cat so much. I have a cat named Jack, and I love him, 
but the little bitch peed on all my shorts. Since I live in the Midwest and it gets painfully cold in the winter, like I'm not gonna be wearing shorts. So all the shorts that I had at my mom's house, I folded them all up and put them in a pile and just shoved them in my closet. And then when it started getting warm outside and it was like summer again, I looked at them and they were soaked in cat pee. Well, they like smelled like cat pee. They weren't like wet, but I could tell sometime over the past nine months when it was winter, Jack went into my closet and peed on them. So they're all ruined because like you can't, if you have a cat, you know you like cannot get cat pee out of things. Like I still have them and I've washed them twice and they still smell like cat pee. So like now I need to buy new shorts in like every color, which is annoying, but whatever. So I got these just like normal, whatever white shorts. That's all I bought today. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do you die for these shoes? Okay, I saw these shoes in on like, a lot. Um, I go in on a lot, literally a lot. I have, like, literally relationships with the workers there. The manager, like, knows me by name. Who's the other girl? There's another girl that always talks to me, too. She's kind of weird, but, like, I live for her, too. Anyway, but every time I would go into Paxson, I would see these shoes, and they're, like, so pretty. They're Nike, and they're just, like... Blue and pink are my two favorite colors, and blue and pink together make purple, which is another one of my favorite colors. Like, blue, pink, purple are, like, the trilogy of the best colors ever, and, like, so cute. And I posted these on Instagram, and someone thought it was paint splatter, but no. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, like, roses and stuff. Or, I don't even know if it's roses. It's, like, flowers, but, yeah, love these. Oh my god, oh my god, a brand I really, really like right now is Huff, because I feel like all Huff clothes are so cute. So I got this. I know, it's a little dark and drab for me, but sometimes I like to tone it down, if you can believe that. Um, I bought this shirt because I thought it was really cute. Like, look how cute that is. And then, when I got home, I turned it around and saw this big, ugly H. But whatever, like, I still like the front of it. Like, I could wear it and wear, like, um... Oh my god. I could wear, like, a jacket or, like, a sweater, sweatshirt thing around it. Yeah, it's fine, but I don't like the big H, but whatever. Another thing from Huff is this. I got this actually a while ago. I was debating even putting this in this video, but <sighs> whatever. Um, it's just a green and white tie-dye shirt, and it says Huff in the corner. Live for that. Um, I think there was one more Huff item. There literally should be. Okay, whatever. I don't know. Side note, I'll be making another haul in the future because this is just all the new stuff at my mom's house. Okay, sorry. Memory card got full. Um, I don't know what it's- Oh, I was saying, this video is pretty spontaneous, so I just took, like, all the new- Sorry, I'm, like, fixing my hair. I just took, like, all the new clothes that I had at my mom's house and tried to make a video, but I have a lot of new clothes at my dad's house as well that I don't have with me, so I'll be making another haul. Okay, so next item, I got these from H&M, and I bought them online, which was, like, a risky decision, because I've never bought pants from H&M before, but I know universally my size is always 28, 32. Waist, 28, length, 32. That's just how I am with all skinny jeans, like, literally on the planet. Literally any pair of skinny jeans, that's my size, so... I bought these, and they're just like normal blue jeans, but I like at the knees they have like grips. These are so tight, so tight, like literally, like I can't even walk in them, they're so tight. Like I can put them on, and then when it gets to my foot, like I literally have trouble putting them on. These are really tight. I didn't expect them to be that tight, like I still can rock them, but even when I was wearing them, my mom was like, Nathan, those are tight. And I was like, I know, right? Don't you love them? And she's like, uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know. I like them, but... I guess beware. I always have to be careful. It's just dangerous buying clothes online in general because you would never actually know if it'll fit you unless you like really know the store, but whatever. I still like those a lot. Okay, I know I just did a Calvin Klein Adidas haul, but I got more Calvin Klein in the mail. Live for these. I love like just the simple, you know, Calvin Klein. I also like here, I have it right here, like crazy colored Calvin Klein, but Sometimes I'm just living for the simplistic life. So, yeah, this came in a three pack. And then I also, okay, I used to see this on Instagram all the time, like the Supreme um, clothing line. And like, at first I thought it was dumb and I was like, all the clothes is ugly. But then like the mere exposure effect literally influenced me and now I love Supreme. So I went on Supreme.com because I like wanted to buy stuff from them. But the second I got on the website, I realized, oh, titter, it's actually a designer brand. So everything's pricey AF, but they do have underwear on there. And like, I don't know, I live for the Supreme logo. I know I'm such like a basic person buying underwear just because of the logo. But these came in the wrong size. I am a small in all underwear because I have a very small waist. I'm a very skinny person. So I have a small waist. So I'm always a small in underwear. And apparently I bought these in a medium. I don't know why I would ever do that. So these are a little baggy on me. They're like made of cotton. So I'm assuming if I 
I, this came in a four pack. I have four of these and they're medium. Like I literally think that Supreme like messed up my order because I would never buy underwear in a medium. Never, ever, ever. But anyway, I'm hoping that if I like wash these in hot water and then dry them that they'll shrink a little bit and fit perfectly. But I don't know, one can hope, you know? I also got these from Hollister. Pretty boring. I got another pair of underwear from Hollister, but like lost them. I think I showed these in a video. I the, literally the gayest pair of underwear on the planet from American Eagle. I'm kind of over American Eagle underwear because I have so much. Um, that's why I'm branching out by like getting Andrew Christian and Express and Calvin Klein. So yeah, I'm kind of over Cal, not Calvin. I'm kind of over American Eagle, but whatever. Um, I got this from Urban Outfitters. Pink. And it says, I'm not available, RN. I thought it was like a texting thing. Like, I don't know. I thought it meant like, the reason I'm ignoring your text is I am not available, RN. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I didn't think it was like a relationship thing at all. Like, that didn't even cross my mind. So I posted a picture of me wearing this on Instagram and everyone was like, oh, do you have a boyfriend? Like, are you dating someone? And I'm like, no. Um, oh my god, Stuzzy! Do you guys like Stuzzy? I want to buy more Stuzzy clothes. This is so pretty. Look how pretty. Whoa, it's coming off way different on camera. Okay, this color is way more orangey and corally and not as vibrant. Like, it looks almost vibrant pink in the camera. But anyway, it's just a pink shirt and it says Stuzzy and on the back it says Stuzzy really big. I don't know. I live for Stuzzy, so. At PacSun a couple days ago, I bought a couple shorts because as you know, my cat peed on all my shorts, so I need to buy more shorts. I bought those and then these are the same exact thing, just... And a dark green. Oh, another thing I got in H&M. They had these t-shirts for $6, and I got one in light blue. They're literally just, like, t-shirts. Like, I'm not gonna fold them out and show you. And then I got one in mint green, because I don't have any mint green clothing, so, like, living. Forever 21. Oh, one day, okay, one day, me and my friend went to Forever 21, and they literally had so much good shit, I was peeing on the floor. Literally peeing. Like, peeing out my asshole on the floor in Forever 21. It was awkward. They, like, had to clean it up, but whatever. They had so many good clothes, so I got this. Oh, again, it's coming off different in the camera. Okay, this is like a light baby blue, and it's just like a cute sweater, and it reminds me of like Justin Bieber in 2009, like, A, 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 you, plus me, I'ma tell you one time. Do you know what I mean? Like, doesn't it? Like, if this was purple, it would so be Justin Bieber in 2009. Ugh. Another thing I got, again, in baby blue was this sweater that I literally wore once. I have this problem where I buy sweaters when it's summertime. Like, it's summertime. Why do I need a sweater? I don't know. But I keep buying sweaters. Like, they're my favorite thing to wear, to buy, to own. So, like, when winter comes this year, I'm gonna be so prepared with so many new sweaters because, like, I don't wear them. Like, I'm wearing this one right now, but I'm not gonna wear it out because it's, like, 90 degrees outside. I'm just wearing it for the video. But I live for this. It says, keep it real. It's kind of stupid. Like, when I'm, I don't usually buy shirts with, like, stuff like, keep it real on it, but I don't know. I thought it looked Tumblr, so I bought it. I like this one. I posted a lot of Instagram pictures of me wearing this shirt. I just, I don't know, I like it. And then I also, no one knows, but I also got it in pink. Look, it kind of comes off white. Like when I take pictures wearing this, it comes off white because it's such a light pink, but it's pink. And I don't really know why I bought this. Like this is really cute. And then this is like the ugly cousin or something. I don't know. Oh, this is another Huff shirt. See, I told you I had something else from Huff. This is not a very traditional Nathan shirt because it's void of color. It's a black long sleeve shirt. It says Huff. I like that in the corner. And then on the sides, I don't even know what it says. Like on the arms, it says Huff Worldwide. Huff Worldwide. And then the last things, I got these from American Eagle. I rarely shop at American Eagle anymore. I used to buy skinny jeans a lot from there, but they like haven't come out with new skinny jeans in like literally three years. So like I don't have any more to buy. Um, and then I'm over their underwear, and I usually don't buy shirts because I don't want to be walking around with American Eagle on my body. Um, but I like these shirts. They're just like plain t-shirts, so maroon. This one's green, and it's kind of like faded. And then I also got a blue one, like light blue, but I have no idea where it is. Okay, so that was the end of this haul video. Damn, already 19 minutes of filming. Ew, uh, I hate when I film like 20 minute videos because then it takes so goddamn long to edit. But whatever. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And do you want to see more haul videos? Do you not? Like, I can make another one because I have a shit ton of new clothes chilling at my dad's house, as I said. And oh, if you're wondering why I have so much shit up here, it's because I'm a slob. And usually I pick up and like, ooh. 
lip. Usually I pick up when I'm filming in this area, I'll like straighten things up, but I just didn't feel like it today. Uh, and you can like see things under here. Ooh, an eyebrow pencil. <gasps> Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip. Okay. Oh, and do you want me to do favorites videos? Because I made a March favorites, but it got literally no views. Like, not saying I only make videos for views, but it got, like, such little views compared to all my other videos. I was like, okay, people obviously don't want to watch that or they find it boring or something, but I can def make more if you want me to. I was going to do, like, a monthly favorites, and then it just kind of never did. But... You know, I can make a favorites video if you want me to. Um, and oh my god, something that would definitely be in my favorites is this moisturizer. I have a friend at work, her name is Emma, and she's vegan, and she works, I work at Walgreens if you didn't know, and she works at the cosmetics counter, so being vegan and being obsessed with cosmetics, she knows everything, and I'm vegan too, so she knows all the products that work, all the products that don't. She's like the beautician there, and she knows all the products that are vegan. This Yes to Tomatoes facial moisturizer is vegan, and it smells so good. It kind of comes out like crazy, like... <gasps> oh, it literally smells like frosting. Get this, that... Ow, it would totally be in my favorites. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay. Hope you guys have a nice day. Bye. A real big old ghetto booty.